Our next guest is a very funny comedian and actor you know from The Daily Show and movies like Crazy Rich Asians and Megan. He's currently performing stand-up across the country on the Love to Hate It tour, including this Saturday at Radio City Music Hall. Please welcome to the show Ronnie Chang, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'm so thrilled to have you it's here. Like, what institution to be here, man. I've been watching you forever. Well, I really appreciate that. Yeah. I've been a big fan of everything you're doing. Thank and you. it's a very exciting new chapter at The Daily Show that's yes. starting. Jon Stewart is yes. coming back to host. Yeah, on yeah. Jon Stewart's back. And then the correspondents are going to host uh, from Tuesdays yeah. to Thursdays. Yeah. This has to be really exciting. Yeah, it's great. Uh, who, who better to uh, take over the show than the guy who invented the show? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who pioneered modern American satire. So he's <laughs> I back. think he's it's back. As, sure, as choices go, it's a pretty easy one to yeah, make. Yeah, it only took a, a more than a calendar year to make that choice. So <laughs> there you go. It does. It is funny that it took a calendar year to come back to the last guy who had the job. Yeah, I know. Uh, so great, great decision. Uh, 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 certainly, uh, it was in great hands uh, in mm -hmm. the years in between with Trevor Noah and the mm -hmm. rest of you. Uh, congratulations, you won the Emmy. Yes, we won the Emmy. Last Trevor week. Noah. He's my guy, Trevor Noah. There you go. He's the reason I, I, I was able to come to America. I love Trevor, Emmy, deserved. And you know, this is such a, uh, it, it, it's, I, I, you know, I grew up in Malaysia and I'm such a fan of American institutions, just like yourself. And who knew, who knew that one day I could come to America, come to New York City, do comedy, join The Daily Show, be in the same Emmy category as you and defeat you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We're the best show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This show. That proves it. We won. That's We're the champions. <laughs> Love it or hate it, we won. We're better show. <laughs> well, objectively, the better late night show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, do you mind? Yeah, I'm gonna, boo, boo, I'm gonna take this away. <laughs> no, we gotta keep this going. We gotta start beef between the shows. That's I don't how. Want, come on, I don't say want, some. No, we I gotta, don't want beef we with gotta, you. We, this is how we save our networks. We gotta talk about each other's show. I'm trying to start Late Night War. Let's go. <laughs> late Night Wars. This is what I moved to America for, for late night talk show drama. <laughs> we have a strong history of late night talk show drama in this country, all the way from Carson to Letterman to Conan and Leno. We got to keep this going, all right? Yeah, there's I'll a start. lack of beef right now. Yeah, I'll right, start. You start. I'll go. start the beef, OK? I'm going to say some <laughs> about this. Late Night with Seth Meyers, this show is on too late. <laughs> okay, if you're watching this live, go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. Okay, your turn, your turn. Yeah, uh, this show is on too late. <laughs> yeah, okay. that's right, we won the... Oh, wait. Um, I want to say, because uh, you have gotten in trouble for your... Uh, sometimes you, you speak your mind. Uh... <laughs> you just did. Sure. You hosted the International Emmy Awards. I'm going to tell you a yeah. secret. I did this once, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a hotel down the street. <laughs> it's literally a hotel in yes. Mid Midtown. Yes, yes. The International Emmy Awards. Yeah. And uh, it's, a, it's a really wacky gig. Uh, it is, and we are in the alumni of people yes. who have hosted the International Emmys. Uh, John Oliver also hosted it. Before I took the gig, I asked him if I should do it. He said, go ahead. Uh, I <laughs> Let be clear, International Emmys, big deal for uh, as someone who doesn't come from America, who respects American show business. Of course. Big deal for all the participants. And involved. great shows, I great will shows. say. Great uh, shows. I will probably not get to host it again, though. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for Be your honesty. <laughs> because, no, I don't think they'll have me back. Because when I hosted it, the, the one time I hosted it, we had like a La La Land incident. So uh, I'm hosting the show. I come out. I, I do a bit. I. Part of the introduction is I introduced the accountants from the top four, one of the top four accounting firms yeah. in the I, I can't remember which one. Uh, as long as it was top four, I don't care. Right. <laughs> it's one of the top four. And I'm like, oh, these guys are in charge of auditing the votes, making sure the winners are legit. Give it up for these accountants. And everyone's like, yeah, accountants. And then I introduced John Turturro to present the first award. So then John Turturro comes out. He, he's supposed to present the award for, um, I, I can't remember what, it, like, I can't remember, it was TV movie. And he opens the, he reads out the nominees, he opens the winner envelope, and he reads out a name that is not any of the nominees. 
And it turns out he announced the winner for the best drama, which so is the last the award. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he ruined the whole suspense of the whole thing. <laughs> And you know, it's not his fault, he's just reading, and he goes, I just, I just read the thing, I didn't, uh. and, and then he goes off stage, and, and Lou Diamond Phillips was there, it's the thing, and then I, I come out after that, and I go, these accountants, you guys had one, you had one job, and you messed it up. And uh, no one was happy about that, so I don't think, I, I don't think I'll get a chance to host international <laughs> Emmys again, but. But um, one of the things I've been very excited to meet you, and tonight's the first night we're meeting, yeah. is you, you mentioned you're from uh, Malaysia, and yeah. then uh, you came to the States as a yeah. kid, and then yeah. Singapore, and then Australia. Yeah. But in the States, yeah. you were in my hometown. You were in Manchester, New Hampshire. Yeah, yeah. Um, what, and you were a kid, uh, younger, obviously, than I am. But yeah. what was your take on, uh, on Mancha, uh, Manch Vegas back in the day? Yeah, Manchester, Manchester New Hampshire. It was, uh, so my parents went to college very late in life. They had two, two kids and then they went to college and they're, they're in, in Malaysia. And then they went to college and they, um, they put themselves through college uh, in Manchester, New Hampshire with two kids and they got their masters. And then we were good immigrants because after we got, we got what we wanted, we, we went home. We, yeah. didn't, we didn't take anyone's job. We didn't, you know, yeah. we were like, okay, we're going back. And then so we went back after that. And so I, I was away, I, I lived in Manchester, New Hampshire for like, uh, what was it, three to, Eight, so about four or five years, and then I went back to Malaysia. And when I was in Malaysia and, and, and living in Singapore, the whole time I'm like, I need to go back. I need to go back to Manchester, New Hampshire. It's just in my head, it was this magical place where there was snow and you could leave your car unlocked and there was like, uh, there was like one restaurant and you know. It, and then I managed to come back years later after I joined The Daily Show. Um, so it took me 25 years to get back to Manchester, New Hampshire. And I was so psyched, to, I, I did a college gig at, at one of the universities there. I went to go visit my old uh, elementary school, Webster Elementary. And I went to go visit the park and the river and like the three places I knew. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is actually a very random place to be. Yeah. I had no idea when I was a kid. I thought this was the whole world. Yeah. But now I go back as an adult and I'm like, why were we here? <laughs> there was nowhere else, really. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but I love New Hampshire. Yeah, I, no, that's, that's coming through. Yeah, Grand yeah, yeah. State. <laughs> <laughs> Grand I State. I love uh, New Hampshire. You were, so you actually went to law school, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, studied to be a lawyer. What kind of lawyer do you think, if you had not gone into comedy, what kind of lawyer do you think you would have been? Uh, I went to law school in Australia um, and, uh, I was, I was like dabbling in like international humanitarian law. I did like a summer program at Oxford. And I think if I had graduated, I, I would have totally become a douchebag corporate lawyer. Yeah. That's good that you can admit yeah, that about yourself. Because yeah. that's what it was about. It was about, <laughs> it was about the money and the power. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but so I'm very lucky. I came this close. I came this close. I could, like, uh, you know, I was this close to becoming like a Christian management consultant in Singapore. Yeah. Okay. And you just, I mean, it must be just, a hard yeah. track to jump off and land in comedy. Like, yeah. That is a very uh, yeah. dicey maneuver. And yeah. It's incredible uh, how well it's gone. I know. I, I like to thank the five Christian Singaporean girls who rejected me. And then, <laughs> if even one of them had accepted me as a boyfriend, I would be in Singapore as an accountant right now or something. So thank you. Um, thank you to all uh, the this women. Is, uh, this is a very cool photo from 2009. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is uh, you and your then girlfriend, now wife. Yes. Uh, who's lovely. I just met her backstage. Yes. This is you guys in Times Square. First time in Times Square? First, first time in Times Square. This is uh, 2009. Uh, the blurry potato photos, because that's what cameras were like in 2009, kids. It yeah. Was, this was as good as it got the resolution. Yeah. This is not user error. That's <laughs> yeah. just as how good cameras yeah. were. Yeah, we didn't mess up the dimensions, <laughs> but this is what it was. And um, so first time in Times Square, and we took this photo here. Uh, and uh, I just was in love with New York. And I was like, I need to come back here and do comedy. And uh, not only do you come back, work for The Daily Show, but now you're on tour. You're going to play Radio City. And uh, here's a photo wow. of you guys. Again, yeah. Ronnie Chegg post in the background. Yeah, yeah. Better phone, better, better camera. Better cameras, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's a dream come true. So thanks everyone who bought tickets to the Radio City show. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. Congratulations yeah. on Radio you. City. Congratulations on The Daily Show. Thank so you. excited. Thanks what thanks a, a pleasure to meet you. Ronnie Chegg, everybody. For more information on this tour, visit RonnieChegg.com. We'll be right back in our late night.